A free COVID-19 testing event for the general public is being held in Grand Forks next Tuesday, June 30th. Grand Forks Public Health, in collaboration with Grand Forks Emergency Management, North Dakota Department of Health, with support from the uh, National Guard, will host a drive through COVID-19 testing event in Grand Forks. Testing will take place on Tuesday, June 30th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Alaris Center. The testing will be open to the general public. Similar testing events are taking place statewide to determine readiness of the state to continue reopening efforts. The test at this event in, is a point-in-time test. If a person was tested in the early stages of the infection while incubating the virus or exposed to the virus after they were previously tested, they could then later test positive for COVID-19. Therefore, those ha that have uh, previously tested negative are invited to be tested again. Additional event details. It's strongly encouraged to complete the online screening questionnaire prior to the event at testreg.nd.gov. The goal of the event is to test 1,000 people. There is no cost for the test and health insurance is not processed. Proof of residency will not be required. The testing process takes approximately 15 minutes. Wait time in line may be longer. Those with a positive test result will be notified by phone within 24 to 72 hours. Efforts will be made to contact those with a negative test result within 72 hours. However, results may take longer, longer depending on state lab processing. Testing will be an oral swab. Antibody testing will not be conducted at this event. Those participating in testing must be at least 12 years old. Those who plan to visit a loved one in a long-term care facility are strongly encouraged to be tested. Testing of visitors is recommended to reduce the spread of the virus and to prevent potential transmission in these settings. Again, a free public testing event at the Alara Center parking lot on Tuesday, June 30th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.